morning, everybody. And good morning, ladies. And we're here this morning. Everybody, on time. Morning, yeah. Morning, Carl. How are you, morning? Good, good. Good, good. Thank you to these girls. I walked from right out the back this morning to about, about 40 minutes to get up to the front. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Get them all. One limpy cow, come on. There's the second limpy cow. They both go out in the paddock, come on. There we go. Gonna be another beautiful day today, Dad. That's how to lock them away. Is she? Oh, no, she didn't. Surprised she didn't, though. Going load up with some maize. We're just letting it warm up a little bit. We've got our bale on the front already, so we can leave it down there. And uh, Dad's already headed down. He's just in the truck, not too far ahead of us. But, yeah, we're on our way. Around here, and I think he should be just over here somewhere. Can't see much through the uh, through the windows. They are fogged up big time. There he is. There he is up ahead. Look at that. Shows you how much it overhangs. Yeah, it just about takes up the whole road. Gets very tight up here. Very tight. Especially with those white tires on. The girls have their maize, they'll be very happy. Okay, we're going to go down and reload our next load of maize now. We've locked them away, and once we've reloaded and loaded our bale of silage up, let's go get some lime. We've got some lime to spread on today. Good load on there today, more evenly spread. Awesome. Right, let's go up and uh, start spreading some lime. That'll meet us up there. Loading up with lime. I think if I took it the wrong way. Facing a better way, now the wind's blowing the other way. So, we won't get covered in lime. How many loads we get through today? a big load it's not weighing in light yeti yeah. alright let's go spread some love 
Right, let's go. We got our load of lime on the back. Just like that. Good. Going good. Um, a bit bumpy this paddock, but it's going on very well. The line, it's got a bit too far away in that run, but that's all right. So, when we go to do a corner here, because we're in four wheel drive, we'll scuff it up too much. So, what we do is we just turn it slow, slow down, and then we're away again. Nice and white, and not too much of it's going up to the sky. It's not too windy, so it's not blowing away too much either. Which is good. Here we are. Down. We go that way to disengage the floor from rolling. And here's the little bees. Are they working today? There we go. One paddock limed. So far, so good. We're into our second paddock now. We're keeping her under a certain speed. If we go too fast, we'll uh, just put too much pressure on those blades back there. So um, we just go nice and slow, 10K. Go much faster, you end up blowing something to bits. So we don't want that. And uh, yeah, it's all spilling out well down there. Going back, going great. We're going about, uh, 10 metre centres, so Here go block us so, Maze Maze in the uh, In the live here, but that's alright It's only one little bit, let's see how it's coming out Make sure we've got no blockages Coming out good. Sweet. Yeah, it's another paddock done. Alright. I think we should be able to do another three, maybe four paddocks with this load. Uh, should be able to do the next four easily because they're um, a lot smaller paddocks. Alright, pick up the passenger wherever he's gone. There he is, he's on the race. He's going to pack a salt and go home if we don't pick him up this time. But we're not the only ones putting on lime. Two fellas over there putting on lime as well. I don't see anyone else putting on lime. We're just in the paddock now where uh, the baler nearly got stuck. Well, he was alright, but he nearly got stuck. And um, where the cows were last night, there's some good wet spots down the end of this paddock, so we've got to be very careful. When we're liming this paddock. I've just done a run down there and nearly uh, just went down a fair way. I ended up missing, there's a middle part of that paddock there that I've missed because I was coming down this straight here and oh, we, we sunk down on that row. So uh, we're not going to go back that way because it was quite soft. That's so right, we're going into the next paddock now. We're down one, two, three, four paddocks down. Fifth one in here, we should be able to finish this one and we'll have to go back for a load for the next two paddocks. On these paddocks, I should be able to do six runs down as one as two runs so i should be able to do six runs uh each one of these paddocks and the bigger paddocks i should be able to do about eight runs and that should be that's sorted i did bugger up at the start i did nine in the first two and seven in the next one but i should be able to do six here and um six here and eight in the bigger ones
I'm on it now. I'm all right now. We got this. There we are. That's our load all done and sorted. So that's uh, our load of lime bottle. It's beauty. That um, should green up the farm a bit, make the grass hopefully activate a little bit. To turn around again because he uh, wouldn't change direction. Sorry about the dirty windows, this is what happens when you're spreading the lime, everything goes white. All the windows get glazed over with the uh, dust. One more bucket and we'll be away. It's a nice load. Let's go. See you in about a half an hour, 45 minutes there, Dad. Found a rabbit! <laughs> well, we keep spreading. I've gone a bit too far away from the drain, but that's alright. Not too badly off. I found me weed that I was looking for. Bugger of a plant, that one. Show you what we mean. So hopefully it's blowing it away a bit. As you can see there, it's slightly gone off to the right. If we were on the other side of it, then we'd be getting hit by it. So, and we'd be going through our filters and all that, as Dad said. Keep it out of your ear filters as much as you possibly can. So we'll keep going. I wasn't watching the wind change direction. Pushed it in front of us. I can't see where my last run is at all. Slowly clears. Good distance away. See the willow weed's actually starting to die off too, which is good. It's at its uh, end of its life. It'll drop, it's dropped all its seeds pods, and now it's going to die off until uh, next summer. Hopefully. Just ah, Dad said that a little bit. We can knock off now. It's 11 30. By the time I get back to the cow shed, give the tractor a quick wash and put the trailer on, take the trailer off, take the trailer on. It'll be 12 o'clock and I can go home and have some breakfast. Well, and Dad said he'll close the gates tonight when he, um, Brings the cows in. So that's all good. Right. We'll catch you at the cow shed. Disconnected. Dad's headed off. Yeah, we Dad gave her a quick wash as I was driving past with the high pressure hose, just the front. So that gave her a quick wash so he can see in the morning when he goes chopping maize. We've reconnected this girl back up. She's now back on the feed out wagon. I'll see you all at Mooking tonight. Time for some breakfast. Afternoon everybody. Well, we just wet in the yard. We're just finishing off washing the vat. Uh, we put a bottom through the vat because we didn't get to wash it yesterday. We only just did like a rinse soap. We just cleaned those sides off after the tanker had been. So Dad did that. Um, I've washed the vat today. We did a bomb wash because, just to get rid of all that excess, excess uh, 
That's what Monday Leaf done there. We'll also do another bomb tomorrow. Don't need it. Um, here we said 3,742 litres today. That's not too bad. Uh, so, what happened is probably 100, maybe 100 to 150 litres went on yesterday's load from the vat. So, that would have put us at that. Um, that's why we're back down to that 3,742 after yesterday's 4,000. But it's all good. Let's just wait for these cows coming and we'll get to milking. Yeah, a beautiful afternoon. Nice and still. A lot of people are spreading lime. So are we. Oh well, have a good one. Just washing the yard. I'm finishing up here and look at that. Neighbour had the contractor come next door. Harvest started harvesting his maize when we started milking. Um, that's the amount they got so far. They look like they got stuck a few times. So looks like they've pulled out. We did only have a good inch of rain. Oh, was it only about two days ago, eh, Dad? So nice big harvester, though. Yeah. He didn't get stuck, but the uh, two tractor trailers did. They've already headed off. And the um, tractor there rolling the stack ended up getting to the point where we had to pull them around the paddock. Part of it. Well, oh, it looks like the boss has just arrived. Coming to check. Hoping to go get some footage tonight of that, but it looks like they've pulled out for a few days. We'll carry on. What do we say, Dad? Thank you. Oh, well, we're going to go down and feed out our maize in our silage barn. Yeah. We can see from during milking was that they um, got stuck in the first paddock, which was the furthest one this way, which had the most wind damage. They got stuck in that probably a good four or five times. So they went bugger it. We'll switch to the, they went down to the next one which was a bit of a higher pack, one of the higher ones that he's got over there. And then they got stuck on that a few more times too. So they pulled out and they may be back either tomorrow or in a couple, probably in a couple of days time, because then it'll be a lot drier. Because we did only have an inch of rain about uh, two days ago. And especially on that peatland, she is very wet. So yeah, that would have been fun on that, all right. Especially they had to use their big fence that they got over there. I'm not too sure how big it is, but be easy pushing 300 horsepower and she was actually towing their uh, tractors around which they're both of those are 200 horsepower massive ferguson's so she was towing them around the paddock filling them up with maize but so hey they're easy just to come back in a few days time the neighbor's got enough maize there probably for a few days and then um i'll probably chop the rest of that out because they'll use that maize at the same time as we do sort of thing he'll go and use that now until he dries off well, that's what they usually do, but it might be different this year. Right, let's get our feed out. Yeah, it's feeding out beautiful. All right, I'll uh, finish feeding now. Lock these girls away. <laughs> we haven't got our, um, she hasn't been down here for a few days. Too busy getting attacked by other cows, I think. Oh, there she is. There's the tire attacker. That little jersey there. <laughs> She's getting beaten up by the other cows pushing her away from the tractor. That'll stop her. For a bit anyways. Oh, that's us. I'll see you all in the morning.